morning guys I'm still trying to figure out how to start this one do we do it politically correctly do we do it uh bitch please how do we go about this folks how, how do we how the fuck did we get here I mean, let me pull it up so, so, so I'm quoting you right. No goddamn sense. It makes no goddamn. It don't make no fuck sense to me, babes. It just makes no sense to me at all. There we go. Here it is. Okay. I find myself facing a situation that demands my attention. I believe it is important to address it with clarity and strength. Over the past year, and <laughs> lie one, I have been subjected to relentless trolling. A lie too. And by an individual, we all know who, who possesses a significant online following. This person has consistently targeted me with derogatory and body shaming comments, which quite frankly have become more than disturbing. That's the first paragraph, honey. And it's all a contradictory lie. I went back and I watched. Painfully. Eyes bleeding, ears bleeding. Drill a damn hole in my head. Painfully. Went back and watched some of your videos. Then went back and watched some of your lives. You're not being trolled by Creek Squad. Nor are you being trolled by Ryan. Have you been mentioned in his videos? 100 fucking percent. No doubt about it there, folks. But here's the thing, honey. You're not getting people blowing up the comment section. Until now. They're not doing this derogatory fucking behavior that you're claiming. And none of that happened for the last year. In fact... Your name was mute. Nobody mentioned you on the Creek Squad side. Even the fucking fake Creekers weren't talking about you. But you know who one of your most biggest supporters and advocates is Mr. Fucking Fusion TV co-founder co-president CEO or the fuck you want to call it of the Workyverse a community that has board meetings To determine who are they going to make a low cow next. Sorry, my delivery had arrived. Anyways. But no, the co-founder and CEO of the fucking Workyverse.
but yet claims he doesn't know you. You guys aren't really friends. All this other shit. You guys say you didn't, didn't, didn't. But damn, is he quick to the fucking jump when something comes up about you? I mean, I just... I don't know what to fuck to make. Like, this ignorance at your goddamn best. And, like, y'all can go, I'll, I'll try to do the little scrolly thingy where you guys can read the rest of that stupid-ass Harry Potter chapter of fucking community post. And the whole damn thing is a lie. Because, see, Creek Squad, we're trolls. Or they're trolls. I'm not, I don't consider myself a fucking troll. So, yeah, when everybody's like, oh, this is the worst kind of trolling. No, she don't, no shit, dude. I'm not a fucking troll. I'm not trolling. Anyways, so but Ryan, the others, they got they're they're all about that shit. They're good at it. They know what the fuck they're doing. You know, that's them. That's that's where they whatever. But even then, you're talking about people who like look what we like look how they handled the one dude, the really weird Motherfucker. They're like, let him be in his own fantasy. Let him be in his own world. Dude's weird. Mm -mm. Something's missing up here. You know why? Probably because they knew if they kept on pushing, kept on talking the shit, kept on trolling, kept on doing this, the motherfucker might snap and do something and hurt somebody. Right? Right? What did you do, Fusion? Filthy. Herbal was a part of the community at this time. I wish I knew where the fuck Herbal was. I would love to talk to Herbal. When that one fucking OnlyFans chick, I don't remember what the fuck her name is, but when she came on your panel in defense of Square, because I'm not defending Square. I don't fucking like Square. I'm still convinced the shit is fucking fake. Because you mean to tell me that we all, you all thought this was all cool and the most best thing in the fucking world for a one-legged retard to drive all the way over to some other retard's house and then fight in the fucking street. And you all thought that was the best goddamn thing in the world. Okay, that's your, that's your friends, Xanime. That's your people. And not only that, like I said, they had some chick up on there. Don't, no, no, I, Army. No, it's not Army, the other chick. Who got caught in the airports with fucking no life Mike. Or stuck in his, you know what? Roma. Roma fucking Army. That chick, but she's hot. She's fuck that bitch's hot. Okay, so you guys can talk and shit all you want. Who gives a fuck? I guarantee the ones talking shit in the fucking chat were the ones buying her subscription on OnlyFans. So, she came on there and she just blatantly asked. Point blank, period. No bias, no nothing. I'm just going to ask you plain as fucking day. If this trolling, this harassment, cyber fucking bullying continues... And the motherfucker snaps and hurts somebody in real life. Would you feel any kind of guilt or responsibility? What the fuck did all, all you little pieces of shit bitches say? Absolutely fucking not. You would feel no responsibility. None. So... You see where I, I, I feel like the real ones understand where the fuck I'm trying to go with this. Whereas the other ones are just gonna be like, oh, she's talking her shit. She doesn't know what she's talking about. Bitch, no. It's called common fucking sense. Your admin fucking person who you support and that supports you, but pretends they're not when confronted has an entire community 
dedicated to your entire fucking Harry Potter post. Ryan calls you a fucking fat ass bitch. Get over it. Get over your fucking feelings. When you have a whole entire community who talks and I don't give a fuck. Don't give a fuck what any of you say. It's your fucking community who's doing it. It's your people. And you're allowing it because it causes drama, it causes clicks, and it causes views. You're either allowing it or you're creating it. It ain't none of that fucking a lie. I dare any one of you to tell me I'm not telling the fucking truth. I dare any fucking one of you to tell me none of that's ever happened on the worky burst side. Nobody's gotten doxxed. Nobody's got their people fucking get fired from jobs. Nobody's had family and in get involved where no family should have to be involved. You call the motherfucker's grandfather repeatedly. So if this shit is not orchestrated, what? Yet yeah, I'm the crazy one. I'm the one who's fucking stupid. I'm all this shit. And that's what you guys' content is. But then as soon as Ryan goes, fuck this Ukrainian fat bitch. Who the fuck is she? Why is she tied to a bunch of missing persons cases? Underage kids. And why does all her information and all this other shit when looked up by legit people who have no skate in the motherfucking game Say it don't make motherfucking sense. This nothing is. Wait, what? That's not real. That don't make no sense. That's that's fake. All this shit. When it comes to that fat fucking bitch. Uh huh. I'm gonna keep saying it. Cause so am I, honey. Get over it. Yeah, I'm triggered. Oh, I am fucking triggered. But this still isn't me. Like. <laughs> like Lori. <laughs> Pussies! The shadows! <laughs> it's me being straight. Fuck this shit. You guys are beyond ridiculous at this point. To have made an entire Harry Potter motherfucking post. That is one big fucking contradiction. Mm -mm. Your biggest supporters are Mr. Fusion's fucking TV, Lori and Triple T. And if anybody who's got common fucking sense can see, where does all the drama come from? Where does all the doxing come from? The threats. The, the her, fucking stupid videos. Where did this all come from? Worky Burst, Triple T and Lori, Jump Team and the Bird's Nest. All three of those little bitches. And they go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth with these true shits. Lori and Tim got fucking Mokai. Square is fucking fusions. And it's nothing but a constant flip, flap, flip, flap. One day you're a friend, one day you're a foe. One day you're going to be over at the Triple T's community. Next day you're going to be over at Fusion's t fucking community. But you got to, can't go back and forth, can't go back and forth. You got to pick whose side you're going to be on during this beef. But when it comes to a truce, then you can choose what side you want to be on again. Do you want to go Triple T side? Or do you want to go to Fusion side this time? Do you want to go over there? you want to go over here? you want to go over there? 
then the move, then it's truth, then it's a beef, then it's a truth, then it's a beef. In between throwing out them raffles, throwing out them cash apps. What does Creek Squad do again? What ha what has Ryan and, and all of us done for the last year? Supposedly. Bitch, ain't nobody had you in their name for almost a year and a half, actually. If your name was brought up, it was brought up in the back streets of, bitch, I don't trust this person. We don't want nothing to do with them. Until recently. Then, yeah, shit got found out again. Your name got brought up in a fucking information deep dive. So your name got mentioned, but it hasn't been trolled. Unlike your community and your fucking people do. This is, this, mm -hmm. I can't like, I know, right? And you think, leave him alone. Y'all two are assholes. I really don't. I don't know what to even make of it anymore. And trust me, I ain't done with you bitches. Lori, Tim, all you. I ain't done with you. Because you have to think. I met you guys when you were beefing with Bird between Halloween, a little bit before Halloween, and just beginning of November way back when. Video's up. I have a video up on it. That's when I met you guys on the online streets. Or that had spoken to you, hadn't seen any of your stuff, any of that. Didn't know who the fuck any of you were until the drama with Bird happened. You're all over the fucking Kylie case, Tim. Your name pops up quite a lot in some chats. Especially towards the end when Xanime was of a focus. So like I said, I don't give a fuck what you guys do anymore. Enjoy yourselves. Enjoy your shows. What I do know, what I am 100% guaranteed of, is you help that bitch fake some shit. And karma is a bitch. And it's not her fault. She has a little brother named Trouble. Have a great day, YouTube.